and the weapons they are using against you are in your very homes, entertaining you and your children, and gradually indoctrinating you without you even realizing. In today's society, people are spending more and more time engaged with modern media, television, cinema, computer games, the internet, popular fiction and popular music are an integral part of our lives. Yet these provide a vast expanse on information which you are taking either consciously or subconsciously into your mind. Information on society ranging from ideals and morals and the difference between right and wrong to the way societies and economies should be structured is passed before you every single day. These media play a significant role in providing the basis for determining an individual's view of the world and everything that exists. Thus, any one group in complete control of this information placed on these media will in effect have the power to indoctrinate practically the entire populace of the world to their way of thinking. And it is this fact that Freemasons are exploiting. The Masons are using the entertainment industry in particular to condition people to their way of thinking, either openly or subliminally. The methods they use vary, but the goal is the same, to impose their beliefs, their ideology and their objectives on you in such a way that you begin to think of them as your own.
the origins of psychological warfare uh, were in Nazi Germany. And in the Nazi ideology, they had something that was called Weltanschauungkrieg, which means worldview warfare. The idea for them was imposing the Nazi worldview on the countries that they had occupied. The Americans picked up this idea, created an American version of it, and called that psychological warfare. You are not the boss. Timbu, you are not. 